All right, Dave here with another exciting tutorial, and today I'd like to talk about stencils inside of Substance Painter. So let's just go ahead and get started. File, New, um, PBR Metallic Roughness Alpha Blend, File. I'm going to go ahead and select a file that I have ready for you guys. Uh, Spaceship FBX, open up, and I'll just leave all this unchecked. 2K, click OK. Now, great, here's the spaceship here. I can see here's the UVs right here. And if I don't have the layers, I, I can go over here and I can find, um, I want my layers up here actually. I want my paint properties. I like them to be down here. There we go. Excellent. Okay, now I feel like stencils. What are stencils and why would we want to use them? Well, I feel like a stencil is just like it says, it's a stencil, okay? Now, I know that doesn't help much, but I feel like let's go ahead and um, I'm just going to go ahead and create a new paint layer, okay? And then for stencil, I'm going to go here and I'm going to find a um, an alpha, and it could be anything. So maybe I want this to be, um, oh, I don't know, like um, a splatter, okay? And... Now what I can do is over on the side here, because this is a paint layer, I can come down here and I see stencil. And if I drag this splatter into there, now you can see that I have um, a stencil on my screen. And if I scroll down here, if I paint right now, if I paint, you can see that it'll paint. Um, basically it's painting through that stencil and revealing on my object. Okay, so I'm going to look at my paintbrush. I'm just going to grab like a, a normal paintbrush, this basic soft. And once again, you, you can see that I can paint. Now, the other thing I could do is I could come here and let's see if I change the color. Okay, you can see I can, I can change any color and I can go like that. And uh, if I rotate this around wherever I want this splatter to be, you can see that I can just kind of go like that. Um, but if I want to change my stencil itself, I can press S. And now I can uh, right mouse click and drag my mouse up and down. And if I left, if I hit S and left mouse click and drag left and right, I can rotate this. So if I'm kind of a little bit more comfortable having a smaller stencil like that, um, I could do that. And now it's like I could put this splatter here. I could kind of paint that. And then if I come over here, I can say, yeah, I want the splatter to be about right there and you'll notice that when I start painting the stencil goes away I don't have to use the entire stencil I can paint kind of wherever I want like but if I paint out here that's not part of the stencil when I let up I see where my stencil was okay now notice I'm painting um, paint but I feel like I could use the stencil to paint anything so what do I mean by that well if I wanted to paint height information I could go here maybe I'll turn off color I'll turn off everything maybe except height. And now when I'm painting, I'm painting height. Okay, and I can come over here. So I can kind of paint it like that. Or I could paint roughness, right? So roughness, maybe I'll turn off height. Roughness is obviously how shiny it is. So if I wanted to come down here and go like that, and that's gonna be kind of tough to see until I, um, if I wanted to get rid of that stencil, I could just go up here and I could X out that stencil. And now you can see that, that roughness that I painted here on the wing. Uh, it's really hard to see. Yeah, when the light catches it at a certain angle, I can see it. But, um, you know, I could paint emissive. I could paint um, height. I could paint roughness. I could paint anything. So basically what I'm doing is I'm painting through a mask that's basically on the camera. And then um, wherever I'm looking through it, and I could import my own stencils if I wanted to. So I would just hit the plus sign right here and I would import a resource. So basically any black and white image, I mean, it could even be um, a graphic, you know, like this. And then if I came down here, e even if I came up here, wa watch, oh, um, just to kind of really see what's going on here. I'll just turn off everything except color. And now when I paint, it should only allow me to paint wherever that graphic is. So if I click, you can see here what it's doing. I feel like this doesn't make a lot of sense, but I think it's really illustrating the point of that stencil or how that stencil is kind of being used. 
Once again, if I felt like I wanted to change the size of that stencil, I hold down S, right mouse click, or left mouse click to spin it. And, you know, kind of unlike a stamp, or unlike um, that, I, I, I just have to kind of align it first, and then I kind of just add it on. So hopefully that was helpful. If you have any questions, please leave it below. If you want videos like this every week, uh, please make sure to hit the subscribe button and get more videos every week directly free right here on YouTube. All right, guys. See you next time.